Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean. Today I want to talk about doing a zigzag maneuver test in Shipmo 3D. We're going to use the generic frigate sample project to work with, and you can download that off the Shipmo 3D website. Um, I, uh, at this stage, we've already gone through the process of setting up the ship model. That's, that's pretty important um, to have configured everything and um, calculated the radiation diffraction effects, which, which can sometimes take a while. But once we're all done, uh, what we're going to basically be doing here is playing with the Fremo uh, time domain module in Shipmo 3D. So um, when you set up Fremo initially, there's some basic parameters here for um, initial ship position and motion and, and propeller speed and things like that. Um, these settings are pretty basic. The initial ship heading is 90 uh, degrees. There's some initial speed. The RPMs are set to, I, I believe, track at this, at this speed. Um, and if we were just run it, no, uh, note there's no seaway on. It'll run a little faster if you don't have the seaway uh, turned on. So we'll just save and run this. And you can see the trajectory is just flat. It's going, uh, you know, 90 degrees. Uh, so we want to see some um, zigzagging happening here. How do we how do we code that in? So what we need to do is um, provide information in the maneuver inputs uh, section. So we want to go down to ship maneuver commands. And here's where you add different commands that happen at different times. Um, and with a zigzag test, what happens is the rudder is set to 10 degrees. And after the ship has uh, deflected uh, by 10 degrees off its original course, off its original heading, the rudder goes back uh, 10 degrees the other direction. And then after the ship has uh, deflected 10 degrees off the original heading the other way, then you just keep going back and forth with 10 degrees, 10 degrees. So how do you code that up in the maneuver inputs? So we'll go add maneuver. And we're, we're going to leave the uh, set propeller RPM and the, and the 100 seconds elapsed time. So when you add a maneuver, uh, it uh, adds the default elapsed time of, of 3600 seconds. We're going to start the zigzag test after this 100 seconds has passed. So go edit maneuver on this one that's added on the bottom. And we're going to go um, set rudder deflect. And um, we're going to go to 10 degrees. So after 100 seconds, that's what's going to happen. All rudders will go 10 degrees over. And we need to add another command. We'll go edit maneuver here. And what we're going to do is you can choose if you want to do turn absolute or turn delta heading. It doesn't matter. That's whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I'm going to do turn abs, he, abs heading, absolute heading. Um, so in this case, um, we want to go 10 degrees off our original course. That's 90 degrees, so it's 100 degrees. And what's going to happen here is you have a maximum elapsed time for the turn to complete. Um, and you can leave it at default, uh, 3,600 seconds. You might want to leave it to just 1,000. What's going to happen is um, um, once the ship has reached this final heading, uh, however long it takes to do that, up to 1,000 seconds, um, then it jumps to the next maneuver command after that. So we don't, we don't exactly know how long it's going to take to reach this heading and that's what we're that's why we're um, setting this up the maximum allowed elapsed time um, and that's how it works so after that we just we just keep adding commands oscillating back and forth between those two uh, zigzag uh, uh, parameters so now presumably after this uh, amount of time the ship will have reached that uh, hopefully before a thousand seconds it's reached its 10 degree um, offset and then we want to go to um, set rudder deflect and we're going to do minus 10 this time. And we'll add another command. And turn abs heading. We're going to do 80 this time. So remember, it's 90 degrees is our original heading. We want to go 10 degrees off that. And you don't, again, it's probably fine to leave it at 3,600, but I'm just, I like to use 1,000. Um, and then we'll just keep going. So we'll add another maneuver. Set rudder deflect, uh, put in 10 again, and we're just repeating what we've got up, up, up top. So you can just keep doing this as many times as you want. Turn abs heading, 10 for that, sorry, 100 for that, 1,000 seconds. So we're originally at 90 degrees. Um, rudders will shift to try to move it 10 degrees off course to 100 degrees. Once that's reached, at 100 degrees, it's going to go back. I've set the rudders back to minus 10. 
we're going to go to 80 degrees, and, and so on. And you can keep adding more to that if you want. But let's just run it and see what we get. So we'll save and run. It's a pretty quick run, so we'll plot the trajectory, and then you can see the zigzag forming here. So you can add as many as you want and uh, take a deeper dive into the data accordingly, um, plotting displacement. Um, you can see the heading change along here. So um, it's, it's starting at 90. It just left click and hold along the plot. You can see it goes at just a little bit over 100. I would expect there to be some overshoot because there's inertia in the system, but then it's responding and going back and forth between basically between 180, 180 degrees. So that's how you do a 1010 zigzag test in Shibmo 3D. Thanks for watching.